Grandma. If you've ever known a toddler, Hello. Hello. then you're aware they can't stay still for very long. We were looking forward to hanging out in the water today, but now we can't. Cape Cosmos and her two-year-old son, happy, happy dance, dance, happy, happy dance, dance, drove 30 minutes to Juanita Beach Park. There's another beach closer to our house, but we like this one better. Only to see this sign. Sad, so we have to figure out where we're going to go <laughs> after this, and it's supposed to get really hot. Swimming is not allowed because of high bacteria counts found in the water. And by bacteria, we're talking about E. coli, which is part of poop. Beth Ledoux with the King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks says they measure levels weekly. So we know that the pollution is going to be part of our summer. We also know that we are being attentive. Today, an employee was taking samples at Juanita Beach. The closing has been happening over and over, and it's just. It's exhausting. But is there a way to keep the water waste free? Don't feed geese and ducks. Put a good swim diapers on the babies. Uh, make sure that you're taking a shower. While it's a decidedly drier day than hoped. <laughs> it is impossible. When they like water, they need to go in there. Cape and her little one enjoyed their time in the sand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Albeit with no swimming and a whole lot more running. You can put it in your bucket. That's why you have the bucket. Look, you want to dump it out? Look, you have a lot of sand in here. He's gone. <laughs> and since we saw an employee testing the water here today, I'm told that means we'll likely get those results as to whether the beach can reopen either tomorrow or at the latest Wednesday. There is also a new map out this year where you can track bacteria levels at every King County Lake Beach, and that's online for you to check out. Live here in Kirkland, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.